Amber Waterman, the woman who pled guilty to kidnapping and murdering Ashley Bush and her unborn child of Benton County in 2022, sentenced in federal court today. Her husband, Jamie, who was charged as an accessory, also changed his plea to guilty today. Five News reporter Kayla Davis was at today's sentencing in Springfield, Missouri. She joins us with an update from outside the federal courthouse. Judge Stephen Bow ultimately sentenced Waterman to two counts of life in prison without the possibility of parole. As for her husband, Jamie, today he changed his not guilty plea to guilty, sending his case into a pre-sentencing investigation. The feeling inside the courtroom Tuesday morning was bone wrenching, listening to multiple members of Bush's family read letters written to the judge asking for the highest possible sentence. Family members honored their loved ones saying, quote, Ashley is loved, she is missed, and she is a hero both here and in heaven. Ashley's favorite flower was the sunflower, and um, the, therefore yellow um, is our color that we will always remember and honor Ashley with. So as we move forward over the years, um, yellow will represent um, our Ashley and Valkyrie, Grace. Irreparable damage has been done to her family. It's been a void that can't be filled anymore. Um, you know, we still gather as a family and enjoy our time together, but there's always that lingering, oh, sh they, they should both be here with us. But a small sense of closure for them today upon hearing Waterman would spend the rest of her life in prison. And the fight isn't over for Ashley's family, as this case still needs to unfold at the state level in Arkansas. As we move forward, we will search and we will seek the maximum of justice. Um, for the next stage of where our fight will take us. I really am hoping and, and praying for is just justice for Ashley and Valkyrie, um, whether that be her just spending her life behind bars or if the state of Arkansas does pursue um, something further. The family hopes Ashley's story will help women be more cautious and skeptical of strangers. Trusting people um, can lead to good things many times, but trusting people should not be given easily. Um, that allowing trust should be earned and vetting people should be very, very taken seriously. Waterman is scheduled for her first court appearance in Benton County on October 28th as the defense tries to dismiss the state murder charges due to double jeopardy. In Springfield, Missouri, covering news where you live, Kayla Davis, 5 News.